today's discussing topic is about 5p10 and 5p20 so what is 5p10 and what is 5p20 it is the parameter that is being used inside the current transformers actually it is not inside it is a factors on which the current transformers working principles are just depends so what is 5p10 5p here the accuracy class p is the protection 5 is the accuracy 10 is the accuracy limit factor so here clearly given 5p is the accuracy class 10 is the accuracy limit and also the secondary of the city has an burden some nameplate of the city has written 20 10 20 30 va it is the burden or load that can be connected to the secondary side of the city so city will be class p type that mention the burden that mention the accuracy class that mention the 5p10 or 5p20 details about the 5p10 and 20 va city suppose we are taking a city ratio of 200 by 1 ampere what is the meaning of 5p10 if the nameplate uh, given the information the city is 5p10 and 20 va that means 10 times of current can be flowed to the primary side of the city during the fall conditions and at that particular time 5% accuracy limit of the secondary current will be there that means the 5% composite error plus minus 5% composite error may be there for example if the 10 times current will be flow to the primary of the city of 200 ampere so the fall current will be the 2000 ampere that means 2 ka and during the flowing of the 2k of current the maximum 5% error in the city secondary uh, secondary current under the burden of 20 va it is the meaning of the 5p10 and the accuracy limiting factor alf this is the accuracy limiting factor this accuracy limiting factor is depend on the burden given burden now discussed about the 5p20 and 20 va burden and also taking the city ratio of 200 by 1 ampere and what is the meaning of this 20 times current can be flow 20 times current can be flow to the primary of the city during the fall conditions and under uh, under uh, under this fall condition the 5% accuracy plus minus 5% accuracy or composite error of the current of the secondary under the burden of 20 va this is the meaning of the 5p20 so uh, this is the meaning of the 5p20 alf of the city accuracy limiting factor of the city so 5p10 and 5p20 city used for over current protection over current protection differential protection and different types of protections we are using the alf type ct considering the ct of 400 by 1 ampere 5p10 and 20 va here are some factors that is being used for the calculations of the ct design and calculation of the ct limiting factor k is the actual accuracy limiting factor kn is the given accuracy limiting factor rct is the ct secondary resistance rn is the actual burden given ra is the actual burden in the secondary circuits so as per the formula is given k equal to kn kn into rct plus rn divided by rct plus ra what is the rct rct is the resistance of the secondary coil of the ct is suppose 5 ohm rn is the burden of the ct that is given is 20 ohm and r is the actual burden of the connected loads or connected meters and connected apparatus that is 15 ohm so by putting the formula we are getting 12.5 k what is k k is the actual accu accuracy limiting factor by putting the value of the given parameters we are getting the 
12.5 the 12.5 will be the actual limiting factors here the actual limiting factor is given 10 but the actual limiting factor will be 12.5 if you uh, if we are calculating the saturation voltage uh, with the same value kn into in into rct plus rn putting the value we will get the 250 volt is the saturation voltage and that is denoted by the vs so vs equal to 250 volt and va is the maximum city secondary voltage so what is the city secondary voltage va equal to if into rct plus ra so what is by putting if uh, we are considering the uh, fault current of uh, 10,000 ampere that is the 10k is um, was flowed through the circuit of the city of the primary so we are getting the IF equal to uh, 10,000 divided by 400 uh, into 5 plus 15 because the 5 is the secondary resistance and RA is the um, what is RA? RA is the actual burden in the secondary circuits after putting the value we are getting the 500 volt so VA VA greater than VS so saturation voltage is greater than the actual voltage or the voltage developed in uh, in the secondary circuit is greater than the VS so the city will be saturated uh, during the fall current of 10k so this city cannot be used uh, this city cannot be put into the service because if the saturation voltage will reach if the saturation voltage will cross then the city secondary will provide you the zero value for the metering core and for the protection core all the core will give you the zero value and uh, your protection will be not there fire hazards or dif uh, different types of uh, um, harmful uh, positions will be created will be occurred there so we should have to uh, neglect these types of cities. So suppose we are uh, taking an example 400 by 1 ampere CD 5 P20 15 VA. Here the burden is less than the ALF accuracy limiting factor mind it. Saturation voltage we are putting the same uh, KN here the um, ALF accuracy limiting factor given the 20 into 1 is the maximum current uh, full load current maximum current 1 we are putting and we are getting the vs equal to 400 volt so vs is the saturation voltage 400 volt vs is the maximum city secondary voltage during the fall conditions we are putting the uh, predefined parameters and we are getting the 375 so here we uh, see that va less than vs and vs get up than va that means the maximum city secondary voltage can be increased can be increased to 375 that is below from the 400 volt so this is the conditions that can fulfill the fulfill the right uh, right uh, conditions of the city and for these conditions we can easily put the city into the service and this city uh, uh, will be and the good city for measurement and for the protection purpose so friend if if you interested to my technical video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more update and also share my video with your friends and colleagues thank you thank you very much for watching my video